Marcus Aurelius once said, it's not death that we should fear, we should fear never beginning to live. When we die, our lifeline does this. When we're alive, our lifeline does this. Notice how that connects with our real experience of life. Life is full of ups and downs. It means you're alive. Twists and turns. Love and loss. Happiness and sadness. Success and failure. We experience extreme highs, peaks and summits and at the same time experience the troughs, the lows and submit. Life is kind of like one big crazy roller coaster. It starts slowly, fills you with anticipation and curiosity, takes you up and then sends you flying down only to rise up quickly again. We laugh until it hurts. We cry inside a little, experience a few moments where we wanted to stop and hope it's all over, but it just keeps going. We somehow think that success is linear, an upward line. There is literally no case study for that. Everyone we admire has ups and downs. Your body mostly replaces itself every seven to 15 years. The organs that work the hardest have the fastest changeover. You get a whole new skin every two to four weeks. Your red blood cells last less than half a year. And your liver renews itself at least once every couple of years. The universe is always changing. We are always changing. But we want to remain the same. We settle for security, not recognizing that a flat lifeline means we're dead. Real life is ups and downs. Death looks like this. Every time I see that, I remind myself, this is living, this isn't. In the journey of life, we pass pleasure and pain. There will be sunshine and rain. There will be loss and gain, but we must learn to move forward again and again. Don't judge the moment. Don't try to hang on because it will keep pushing you forward. And remember, this morning if you're healthy, you're happier than the one million people that will not survive this week. If there's food in your fridge, shoes on your feet, clothes on your body, a bed to sleep on and a roof over your head, you're richer than 75% of people in the world. And if you have a bank account, money in your wallet or a purse, or coins in a jar, you're in the top 8% of the world's wealthiest. We cannot avoid the ups and downs, but we can change the way we see them. Because as Wayne Dyer said, when we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change.